Hi, welcome to the Design Studio tutorial. In this video, you'll learn how to use Custom List Design Studio to create your own customizable designs. Let's get started. The Design Studio is your workstation where you'll find all the features to help you create all your different product personalizations. It has two main areas, the workspace on your left where you'll see our canvas with all the personalized elements and graphics of your design and the tool panel on the right, where you can add design elements to your canvas and format them. At the top, you'll find the undo and redo buttons and the option to resize your canvas. On the bottom right corner, you can control your workspace zoom. You can also use your mouse and trackpad to zoom in and out. To add an element to your canvas, just click on the one you want to use. To edit an element, simply click it on the workspace. You can also select elements from the layer panel, which lists all the elements from the canvas. Both on the workspace and the layer panel, you can select multiple elements using shift and click. When an element is selected, a light blue line will indicate it on the canvas and its properties will be displayed on the tool panel. With the toolboxes, you'll be able to format elements from their size, position, and rotation to more specific things like fonts, character size, and spacing for text elements, and filters or masks for image elements. The toolboxes you'll see will depend on each element. Now let's go through the different personalization features available. First of all, we have text and curved text. You can let customers type their own text and products by adding text elements to your designs. Text can be straight or curved and you can format them any way you want. From fonts, color size and alignment to effects such as texture and stroke. You can add multiple font options and color options to a text, so customers can choose between them. Let's take a closer look at fonts. By default, Customly comes with a set of fonts to use on your designs, but you can upload as many fonts as you like. All you need is the TTF or OTF font file. To upload a new font, just add or select any text element. Expand the character toolbox and click on the plus button next to the select a font list. Once you see your font on the list, you can apply it to your text element. You can apply as many font options as you want to the text to give your customers the ability to choose between them. The same goes with colors. You can pick one color for your text or add multiple color options for your customers to choose from. However, if you're planning to offer several font or color options, I suggest using font or color libraries. You can learn more about libraries on our libraries tutorial. Next, we have image and vector placeholders. With them, you can let customers upload their own pictures or vectors on your products. An image placeholder will allow your customers to upload an image. And a vector placeholder will allow your customers to upload an SVG, EPS, or PDF file. You can also set certain behaviors for customer uploaded images and vectors. Some popular options include adding masks to give them a particular shape, making sure images fill the entire placeholder area so customers can't leave any blank space, and my personal favorite, automatic background removal and face cutout filters. Check out our guides on image and vector behavior to learn more about all the cool effects you can apply to them. Now let's see dynamic images and dynamic vectors. You can let customers choose from a collection of images or vectors on your products by adding dynamic assets to your design. This is used, for example, to add clippered options. Use dynamic images to upload JPEG or PNG or dynamic vectors to upload EPS files. If you want to make multiple assets available on your designs, we highly recommend setting them up first with libraries. Then you can assign a library to a dynamic image to make those assets available faster and easier. Don't miss the library's tutorial to learn how to do this. 
Last but not least, we have the map tools. You can let customers immortalize a special moment or place by adding customizable maps to your products. There are two map options available, street maps and star maps. With street maps, you can let customers choose any location in the world. The location will appear within the map area you defined. You can pick from different map styles available to make the map match your design or select multiple styles and have your customers choose the one they like. Click on map behavior to set an initial location for your design and select the different map styles. With the star maps tool, you can let customers choose a location and a date to see a star map from that specific moment in time. You can let them choose between different options such as showing constellations, a map grid, or even the Milky Way. Same as with street maps, there are different map styles available to make them match your design or let customers choose their favorite. Now that you know the different elements you can add to your design, let's talk a bit about layouts. Layouts allow you to create different design alternatives in the same main design so customers can easily swap between them. Using layouts is helpful when you want to create designs that offer different configurations depending on what choices the customer makes. For example, on products with number of something options like choose number of cats. In this scenario, each layout will display the elements for one cat, two cats, and so on. Each of them arrange independently, but all coexisting in the same design. Layouts work by toggling visibilities, so you can work comfortably on each one of them without seeing the others. You can easily select and organize your elements in different layouts directly from the layer panel. To create a layout, select all the elements you want to group into a layout and click on Create Layout. And that's it. Now, once you're ready using the Design Studio, just save your design. Now you're ready to use the Design Studio and start creating your own stunning personalizations. Don't miss our other video tutorials where you can learn more about product bases, templates, libraries, settings, and more. And remember, if you ever need assistance, you can find our amazing support team by using the help button on the right corner. Happy customizing!